Hello, I'm Lee Stringer, Managing Editor Europe uh, for Chemical Watch News and Insight. And we're here in Brussels at the PFAS Key Updates uh, Conference. And I'm joined by uh, Carl Dannenberg, uh, Scientific Officer at the uh, Germany's Federal Office for Chemical Safety, uh, Bauer. And um, we just had a good presentation from you, Carl, uh, talking about some of the, the work that's ongoing, because, of course, Bauer is one of the five uh, competent authorities working on the universal PFAS restriction proposal. And we had some questions and some good updates. But the first thing is, really, how is the uh, dossier proposal that you're working on going to differ, perhaps, from the one that we've already seen? Uh, yeah, well, we received over 5,600 comments. And so, of course, we look into these comments and then based on these comments, we will revise the dossier, meaning that we will look at all the different uses that are already in the dossier and um, basically revise uh, these sectors. Um, but then, of course, we also received new information um, which uh, on possibly also new sectors. So we will also take this up and integrate new sectors into our dossier that were previously not in the dossier. And with that, of course, also comes that there will probably be new derogations um, that we will then propose um, and also that we will revise some of the derogations. This can mean that we introduce longer or shorter transition periods, depending on the information that uh, we received uh, on the uh, in the public consultation last year. Mm -hmm. So still a lot of work to be getting on with. <laughs> yeah. um, another thing that was mentioned was, obviously there's gonna be another consultation with uh, the ECA Socioeconomic yeah. Analysis Committee, 60 day consultation. I wonder if you could sort of give a few tips, advice on how to prepare for that. Uh, yeah, well, um, it is actually really good to, to already start now thinking about the, the contribution that uh, companies can make in this consultation. And I think at least the, the easiest way to already look at it would be to um, look at um, previous uh, restriction processes, for example, the microplastics uh, restriction process. Um, as uh, we also there had, or as it is mandatory in every proce uh, restriction process, to have a SEAC uh, consultation as well. And basically the, the questions um, that are posed there are very similar. Uh, and you can use these questions basically as a guideline um, to already uh, gather information and, and prepare it. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. And, um, and just finally, um, we've obviously had uh, a lot of interest around essential use, the essential use concept. We're waiting for reach, revision. Um, a lot of questions around whether the essential use concept will be written into the, the PFAS proposal or not. Um, what's your take on that? Uh, yeah, well, the, the essential use is, is currently not really anchored in, in EU legislation as such. Uh, there, is, there is this idea that we are aware of, but because it is not anchored, we also could not um, introduce it into our dossier as such. Nevertheless, uh, the, the dossier, um, or as part of the dossier, we are doing a socioeconomic assessment. And while it might not be uh, exact, exactly the same as the essential use um, will afterwards then be, um, it is uh, at least already looking at socioeconomic aspects uh, from uh, different angles and trying to uh, assess what the what the benefits uh, for society are and then the essentiality in some ways. Mm -hmm. Well, brilliant. That's, thank you for those updates and yeah. clarifications. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Thanks very much.